Enemies hurt much more. Do a golden tooth. So, thrown further away, and enemies drop Copex. This way I have two money hammers. And the main reason why I want this one specifically is it'll be a lot easier than the fast attacking one. Fast attacking only works for melee, and I don't care about that so much. So enhancement upgrades. Wait, I have the gold ore. But we don't have this one. Ah, so apparently I can't upgrade it to, uh, to use all three until I have that iron ore. Well, that, I'm not going to say that blows, but it sucks a little bit because I, I really want to be able to just jam multiple things on because there's, there's, there's some really fun combos once we get in there. I wonder if I could have multiple money teeth. Oh, I guess I've used up all of them. Eh, whatever. I don't know. It's fine. So, where do we go? Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? Let's see. Ivan buried the poor man. He, he heads back to tell the Undertaker. So yeah, let's, let's go back, tell the Undertaker, and we'll hold off on the next thing until next time. It's one of those where I've, I feel like I need to switch for reasons. Hmm. I can't use them. I just want to see what they do. Here's what I have for you. So Silver Fork hurts unclean creatures, slower when touching you. Hammer pushes back all hit enemies when flying. Shoot, that's really good. Knockback on this thing? Whoa! That could be amazing. But we have... We are too poor. You're not just a good blacksmith, Ivan. You're also a good man. Their spirits can rest easy now, and they have you to thank for it. Keep your filthy pants money. It's mine now. Thank you. Goodbye. We. I really do not reflect, regret these butterfly wings, though. Holy crap, I move fast. Okay, so how do I save? Oh! I know, I know how we save. Let's go back to Grandma's house, though, or my own house. No time to rest. Oh, hi. Or take these ore pieces with me. I might need them to craft things. Cartwheel. Perhaps I can use this cartwheel. Okay, we have an Im improvised shield out of a the cartwheel. Best offense is a good defense, or was it the other way around? I pretty much never use the side thing, but that's okay. Upgrade anvil, enhancement upgrades. Salvage upgrades. Okay. So now we can just enhance a lot. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. So forge, craft. So if we go to hammer, I can actually just add a bunch of things now. Oh, we actually have the skull. Problem is we have no more teeth. So I'm going to wait until we get some teeth. Okay, cool. So now we can apply three upgrades to each hammer, which means things are going to get really screwy. Oh, never mind. We're going to keep playing. I said today was going to be an indie game lightning round, and so far we have played two, which is not particularly lightning. We'll, we'll go to the farm. I want to get a gold tooth if I can, or at least one or two of the more goofy things. Okay, so we've got to complete a level before it'll give me something. Understandable. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Herdsman's cow got lost in the woods. Heads towards the forest to bring it back. Oh. I guess we have to go to one of these every single time. Ah, it's fine. Now that I can chuck, chuck my hammer farther, this should get a lot let's easier. See where this road takes me. But yeah, flying, hammer flying farther also means hammer flies faster. Which is lovely. I'm still hoping we can get some of the more ridiculous crafting components. What the snapple? This altar is dedicated to Veles, god of musicians and magic. Let's clean it. What's this? Something fell on the ground. 
The altar is quietly humming. We got the flutes. Probably figure out what some of these things do. So. Surely you've come to aid us, traveller. What ails you? A terribly bad fortune has come upon our family. We were feeding the chickens when one of them crowed, not once or twice, but three times at us. So? What of it? How can you not know? Even a child knows that this means a terrible curse. It means the death of a loved one if the chicken is not slain before the next day. So what are you doing sitting there with that stupid look on your face? Run and help my husband catch the chicken before night gets here. I'm on it, fear not. Do not waste another second fearing this bad fortune. I will deal with this in no time. Do what you can to slay the chicken, and I'll reward you somehow. Just hurry up! Sonic the Blacksmith is on the case. No, oh, my hammer is broken. That son of a... Actually, we want to switch to the U hammer for a bit. Do we? Now nah, I'm just gonna let my bad luck scale up. Sucks a little bit that that was the hammer that I lost, but I'll live. Okay, anything else? No. I really like this this flute music. I'm assuming this is flute. Like super aggressive woodwinds are really fun to listen to. Usually they're kind of long and slow and and mournful in a way. And this is just like, there's somebody on a flute for this soundtrack, and they're just going bananas with it. I love it. Like I'm, I'm serious when I say like I, I would gladly listen to the soundtrack, just for funsies for a while. Ow. power back because I know I know we're going to need it oh I guess we took out the uh, we took out the boar so bear is significantly less dangerous which is weird to s well is it weird to say bears are pretty dangerous but I want to say boars are generally Bond more so quite animated Uh, let's see. Show yourself. Show yourself, creature. The pond is now quiet. <laughs> I just love the idea of intimidating a pond. Uh, this is why I want to do more tabletop junk. I would like to intimidate the ponds. Okay, roll to intimidate. That twenty. Uh, yeah, sure. You've intimidated the pawns. It is freaking terrified of you and your face. I appreciate the fact that there are uh, kind of explosive barrels all over the place. <laughs> it is handy. Okay, so yeah, let's gather Copix. We don't have any uh, weird summoner creatures currently, but I think I'm kind of fine with that. I don't see anything else around here. Wow, we're gaining a lot of learning points. I guess we're quote-unquote under-leveled, give or take. Love to see covers of the OSD, just to see how hard you have to go on the flute for it. I, my brother is uh, a fairly skilled flautist. I could ask him about it. Just send him, send him this, and just be like, "Can you do this? If so, please." Okay, got him with the beehive, and everything is good. Though, of course, my brother is more of a, uh, 
This must be the beast. Well, it's a big bear. Probably. Which means we're going the wrong way. Uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, he's mostly trained with metal flutes. I'm sure he could probably pull off a wooden flute if he wanted to. And we do have one. I don't know if it's any good. I really want to get rid of those boars. Any enemy with a ranged attack is kind of an inconvenience for me. There we go. Do that. Post a video on your channel. Would love to see it. Nah, there's no way a video would get made that would be any good. My brother is literally on the other side of the country for for me, so it makes it kind of difficult to, uh... It makes it kind of difficult for us to coordinate such things. Also, it's been a... It's been a long time since he's done Ramskull. Uh... It's not... Oh, it's actually one of these. I'll just put, push back enemies. Oh, heck yeah! That's really helpful. Okay, so the chicken's back over here somewhere. Let's see, speaking of D and D, you're working out a prehistoric D and D campaign. Interesting. I can see it kind of. If I were to do something like that, I think I'd almost do it kind of Conan style, where everybody's running around in like ridiculous nothing clothing, but like there's still like great armies and siege weapons and crazy beasts. Trying to do just, like, pure, low-fantasy Stone Age stuff would probably be novel, but I don't think I'd keep my interest, personally. I truly have the benefit of Spin Dash. I mean, it doesn't really knock them around too much. I was really hoping it, it would, like, I could bully things. But this way, I won't ever get uh, trapped in a corner anymore, which is actually really important. For a second, I had 70, 77 bones and 77 moons. Good stuff. Okay, where the hell is this chicken? But yeah, there were, there were a couple of points where I was just getting absolutely uh, cornered. And I was not happy about that. And so being able to roll through enemies would be quite nice. Come on, give me some of your golden teeth, boy. Thank the Lord. I was wary it would be my wife that finds me. What happens? D did you die chasing a chicken? Fear my challenge and judge me not, traveler. This chicken crowed three times this morning, so our fate was sealed. You see, I had no choice but to end the chicken's life. Everybody knows this. I saw it running towards the spikes and then rush to catch it before it could fly away. Please, don't tell my wife. I do not want her to know of my failure. Your secret is safe. Not my business to tell on you. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you, traveler. <laughs> oh, there's the chicken. Ow. We. You are now a widow. Congrats. Have you any news of my husband or of the foul bird? Bad news. You poor woman. Such tragedy I have to speak of. Your husband, he died. What do you speak of? But tell me at once! Your husband got himself killed chasing the chicken. You should go and give him a burial before wild animals find him. That feeble fool! A chicken got the best of him! And now I'm to raise my kids all by myself! Such a tragedy! What about the chicken? It died. I found it dead in the same bear trap as your husband. He was probably trying to catch it when he, uh... 
Oh, at least now the chicken's dead, the curse is lifted. <laughs> the, the curse. Yep. The curse is lifted. 100% totally lifted. Those Man, this big footsteps. Uh, well, I found the tail. Oh, boy. Oh, the white cow is dead. And there's its tail. I'll just take the tail. No one is around to see me, except for this little bear. You have no fault. You have no fault in this tiny creature. Oh. What's that noise? Bear! Just a bigger, regular bear. That was a really cute little bear. Question is, do I get to keep it and use it as use it as a weapon? Can I chuck a bear? Can I have a bear hammer? Can I bear blast? These are the important questions a man must ask. So, uh, I should probably tell this story before we get too far away from it, or, you know, I don't get the chance to go back. But so the embargo for this a game dropped earlier today. Oh. Proof of the beast's demise and of its strength. Do I get a bare hand? I do. And <laughs> warm manure. It shit itself as it died. Huh. Yeah, I've just got a bear claw side weapon. Interesting. Not really sure if I care too much. I do look more normal with the arm. Made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Okay. Learn more when using magic items, or move faster near unclean creatures. Nah, learn more. I'm just gonna get as many leveling perks as I can, even though I pretty much have no use for them. We get bronze ore. Unfortunately, I think I'm too poor. But I think I'm going to stop buying ore, necessarily. Okay. So, bear paw. Push enemies or objects with it. Neat. So what do we have? We have the skull. We have manure. There's, there's better stuff than this. I want that knockback. But I don't want any of the rest. Ivan seems troubled. Okay, so we're... Okay, we could go back to that, but let's go to the farmlands. I, I'm i just kind of committed to finishing at least this chapter. And then we'll we'll actually lightning round. Unless the next game the I play is as good unbearable. as this one. You know... That'd be a better thing for him to have said... Wow. This song is... Okay. So, fun fact. The pushing is way more effective against bees. Get out of here, bees! Well, this will certainly solve my money woes. Should probably troll the town a little bit and see if we can get some, um... Or troll the town. See if we can get some interesting things, but eh. A time-worn altar barely... Yeah, same thing. Clean. What's what happens if we clean this one? Thunder? The altar is now silent. So he likes it when I pray. The music one likes it when I clean. Ow. Balls. I might be in Cursed Land again. A fine gemstone, though, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm going to be just stacking curses. So let's um switch back to the deadly hammer. I think the real answer is, considering the the curse problems that I'm going to run into, what I should do is just have uh, a dummy hammer. To equip that I can just lose. 
whenever my uh, curse gets too high, I just switch over to that. That seems a lot smarter. Oh, there's the gold tooth. Yes. Okay, I can probably just use the basic... This. And she breaks my hammer, but the thing is, it just cost me one iron ore to make it, so who cares? Perfect. See, so I thought curses could destroy accessories. It looks like, for the most part, uh, bad luck just destroys your, your weapon. And if you're only using the default weapon, then it gets rid of your other... Uh, it, it, it'll it get rid of, like, accessories or, uh, or held items or something like that. Wow, these guys explode into money. We can never find an infinite human spawner. Boy, that's, that's gonna be some cash. Hello, fellow traveler. You are in luck. No, I'm not. Find yourself in the company of a mind reader. You should take advantage of this. Mind reader? You? Oh, yes indeed. I will prove it right now. Think of a word, and I will read your mind. Sore. Done. What did I think of? You thought about gold. Nope. Oh. I'm afraid you need to practice a bit more. Oh, my brothers were right. I'm just a fraud. Could you please tell them they were right? I can't bear such shame myself. If you find them, tell of our meeting. They must be somewhere around here. Yeah, oh, of course. Here are some Copex for your help. Are you brother? If you find a mind reader around these parts, let us know how it goes. We've had a bet going on with him. <laughs> He asked me to find you. Oh, and did he read your mind? Shame on you. Shame on you for mocking him. At least he's found a passion. Who are you to tell us how to treat our brother? We'll fight you for this. You'll fight me. You'll die. And you'll fill my coffers. Sweet business. And we get a treasure chest for it. Hell yeah. Now the question is, do we get anything other than Kopex? Uh, we got a five-leaf clover and some bread. I'm hoping for more crafting components. If you find them, tell of our meat. Oh, cool. So I don't have to tell tell them that I murdered their brother. Sweet. Oh, you know what? Get out of here, bees. Get some stamina back. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we can get a uh, trinket that lets me run faster as well. Because this is kind of inconvenient. Okay, there, there he goes. Okay, now we're free and clear. To B blast all the way to uh, wherever. Body parts and money. Oh boy, we should go shopping. Hey, speaking of, there's a shop down south. Let's see what he. Let's see what he's got. Ooh, get what off you. you, dear peasant? Tell me now, if you may. <laughs> Are you in great need today? Great need. I'm in great need. Well, that's some stuff. We got an ice shard. Cool. 
So this sounds like Romanian electronic folk music. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what it is. I know it's, uh, I know it's Eastern European Slavic-ish in origin. I just don't know the country. I was told when I was playing the, uh, the demo. Uh, back at PAX. But I've had other things on my mind, so I've kind of forgotten. These suckers are annoying. Oh, interesting. Because I killed it, his spear never landed. Weird. Okay. It's not Russian. I I know I know it's not Russian. That's the one culture I know it's not. Because Russian would stick in my head. Pretty sure it's not just Polish. It might be Romanian, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep rolling. Sup? Oh. Greetings, Blacksmith. I, uh, uh, caught red-handed. Oh, wait, this is not what it seems. Oh, really? I've heard that before. I grow tired of this village. Nobody ever listens. I'm leaving for good, and you can deal with this problem on your own. Hmm. Not only for agriculture. So it looks like I've got a whirlwind attack now. This might actually be something worth investing in. I don't have a whole lot of AoE. I mean, I kind of do. It is not worth it. Okay, let's just run around, get our willpower back. So you don't change equipment every time you get a new quest. Yeah, well, I'm effectively unlocking different uh, equipment types. That I can play around with. Problem is, most of them just don't seem worth it. Because they all use stamina, except for rolling and attacking and throwing your hammer. So why not just ignore all of the special abilities and uh, more or less just be discount Slavic Thor? I like the bear arm visually, so we're going to go back to that. We might want to experiment with making a couple of these at a later date. Just to, uh... Just to have something like a really cool looking bear, bear arm. Ha! Gotcha! Hello? Thought you could get rich off my milk money again, huh? How did it? Nonsense! Your cow must have eaten the money. That's no argument. But if you didn't, then who did? It's the third time in a row this happens. Find the culprit, and I will share my corpex with you. Okay. I really like the voice acting for this game. Like, every bit of this game has an interesting quality to it that I, I can't help but be, like, kind of impressed by. Like, the music is really good. The voice acting is fun to listen to. The environments are repetitive, but really well rendered. So it's kind of, it's kind of one of those where it's like, I think if it were uglier, I would care more. But like, they do level design in the same way that uh, Children of Morta does, where it's just kind of these like pre-generated rooms slapped together in different ways, and it's like, yeah, it gets kind of dull and repetitive after a while. 
but I'm enjoying looking at it so much that it's hard for me to care. It also helps that I traverse in the environment really fast as a result of super rolling. Developers are in fact Romanian. Gotcha. If you find them, tell Nope. Is there a second area or Cause I didn't miss anything, did I? This game does need like just a full map button, to see if I've missed anything. Unless it was just those bandits hiding behind his area. But yeah, it is... It's kind of nice being able to just zip around it at super high speeds. I think I'll still grow a little bit bored of traversing things, but right now it's not so bad. But it'd be nice if there's a map still. Okay. Let's, I guess, interact with the cow? That cow looks visibly uncomfortable. A fresh, smelly cow pat is not far from the chest. Oddly enough, it seems to hide something shiny. Inspect thoroughly. Copex. Huh? Where is that de How did it? The cow did it. And the proof? Manure. There's something shiny hidden within the manure. I didn't lose just a few Copex. If you haven't noticed already, I lost an entire chest. Come back when you found the wrongdoer. That cow looks visible. Why have you stolen? Why have you stolen your master's money? Give food. This is taking too long. Give body parts. Well, what do you know? It really was the cow. My thanks, stranger, and my apologies. None needed. None needed. And your payment, as promised. Farewell. Keep your filthy pants money. Uh, never mind, that's a lot of filthy pants money. Thank you. Goodbye. We get the bread. I don't really need anything else. Uh, forge, craft. We want to make a hammer. We want to make a hammer with bronze. Let's do... That skull. And what do I do? More damage to gold enemies hurts unclean creatures. Makes enemies hurt much more. Okay. Let's make this thing. Let's see how this goes. Alright, we have... A flaming long reach hammer. This should be kind of fun to mess around with. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Okay, uh, let's see. Spelling's been dealt with. Go back to the wheat cutter. Okay, so I guess we just go back to the uh the village with both. Yeah, so it seems like cold and warm stuff just does more damage to the associated um polar opposites, but it doesn't seem like it might it might not be that useful for everything else. Here's what I have for you to Okay, slimy sack. Damages hit enemies right. for a short time. Right. And we want to get another Dravak skull. 
I don't know if the fine gemstone's good. We'll leave that alone. Ivan, you're back. What are my fields? You were right all along. That Vedmak was indeed responsible for this. I caught him, red-handed, cutting another parcel. Oh, I knew it! Did you punish him for his foul deeds? I pity him. I oh, pity the poor man. He's barely standing. Don't be fooled, Ivan. Who knows what he's capable of? He will trouble you no more. Thank you, blacksmith. Here, for your troubles. Now to get back to work. That weed is long overdue. More pants money. And we're going to go over here. Ivan! I found the beast that murdered your cattle, and I slew it. This is his paw, as proof. Oh, thank you, blacksmith. I only hope my dearest cow will soon return. I'll have to starve if she won't. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Woe unto me. Found a carcass. I found a carcass right next to the bear's hideout. This bell was nearby. My love. My life. <laughs> Well, then we have a tail. Oh no, we kept the tail for ourselves. Okay, so now we got the the gifts for Yaga again. But we don't actually want to do anything with that. That is some intense crying. I I really like the voice acting for this game. It is dumb charming. Okay, let's just make another uh, iron hammer. Considering that lady broke my last one. I figure I'll always have a spare deadly hammer around if I'm going to get cursed. Because that means uh, I don't have to worry about losing anything. Because, yeah, she'll just break that one. Easy peasy. <laughs> 